What happened was I started getting ideas to write a prose work from fly fishing. I was seeing uh, a lot of parallels between fly fishing and poetry and between fly fishing and um, sort of popular Zen. And it seemed to me no one had ever explored those relationships that I talked about. The Milky Way chapters uh, deal with, with the estimated 300 million stars in our galaxy. Um, you know, you start trying to get into describing infinity and uh, you can't do it. So I kind of like to laugh at that a little in the book, you know. A kind of um, a beauty, you know, that we can never really fully grasp which is a good thing. I think part of the reason for being here is, is the apprehension of beauty. It's another way of, of experiencing uh, God, spirituality, whatever you want to call that. I think at the end, maybe, where I catch a rainbow trout and I'm bringing it in and it breaks the line and escapes. I think that's my favorite part. All great fishing stories, the fish always gets away. There's this wonderful thrill, as long as you can get the fish out of the water and see it, it's when you can't see it and it gets away and breaks the line that's, that's, that's distressing. It's a gorgeous river and its feeder streams are also stunningly beautiful. In certain ways we've lost things, but in other ways the river may be more beautiful than it was before in, in certain respects. I think we have to remember with environmentalism Things aren't always getting worse. Uh, sometimes things are getting better. There are eagles are back, ospreys are back on the river. Um, years ago, it was a rare thing to see one or impossible. So you have to always have hope.